Now there are rumors that the airline is expecting to choose between the 777X and the A350 to introduce non-stop flights between Australia and London by 2022. Now the airline will be reducing some of their flights due to the shortage of pilots to fly their planes. Philippine Airlines will receive a total of 21 new aircraft by the end of 2019. The nine-year streak that American aviation has enjoyed with no fatalities has finally come to an end. Now Ryanair has secured an order for another 25 737 MAX 200 aircraft. It's finally official. Virgin America is no more. Wow Air's first AP-30neo finally being revealed. That could see them order up to 30 777-9s or 777-10s going to British Airways. Getihad has recorded a total loss of $2 billion. So if you haven't been following Gambrara's KC390 program, then you'll be surprised to know that on the first test which occurred yesterday, the plane ran off the runway during a ground test in Brazil. Read that they reached a profit of $1.1 billion. Now that's a staggering. Now the new Taiwanese airline is set to begin operations by the year 2020. Because they're suing the heck out of AirAsia X. An incident has occurred at Istanbul's Ataturk airport involving an Asian Airlines A330 and a Turkish Airlines A321. Japan Airlines are thinking of establishing a new low-cost carrier. I have breaking news that a Boeing 737 has crashed shortly after takeoff at Havana's main airport with 104 people on board. The European Union is providing illegal sums of money to Airbus. The first flight has finally landed, with the President of Turkey arriving at the airport just a few hours ago. Airbus have said today that they're considering leaving the UK if a deal is not struck with the EU. Russia's Aeroflot is in negotiations to expand its fleet with an order for around 28 A350 aircraft. Today, the Emirates A380 inaugural flight landed at Islamabad airport at 10 past 12 local time. Airbus has revealed the A220-100 aircraft because they already have 60 orders for the A220-300 from the airline JetBlue. Now AirAsia is already the second biggest customer for the A320 family and they're now considering ordering as many as 100 A321neo aircraft. Now Boeing has announced service orders and agreements worth up to $2.1 billion. But when it landed, 100 out of 521 people were reported to feeling sick. And we could be on the verge of Emirates taking over Etihad to create the world's largest airline. I hit some, uh, sort of like turbulence around right here, but there's no clouds hardly. Uh